Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. So we have a new request by Naresh. He's asking, can you prepare a video of how to make nano sheet outside vertical road, road slash sheet core shell structure. So let's do that in Blender. So if you want to have a look at an example here, you can see a nice image at the core. You have a road on the surface. You have these sheets. So let's open Blender. First of all, add a cylinder, shift a mesh cylinder and then go to particle system. Click on this plus icon, change particle from emitter to hair and scroll down under source, change emit from faces to vertices. Why? Here you can see all these lines are basically particles. We have particles growing from top surface as well. So when we replace all these hair lines with our nano sheet, we will have nano sheets on this surface also. So we don't want that. So simply change emit from faces to vertices. Now you can see particles are growing from these points. If you go to edit mode, these points are called vertex points. Now each particles are growing from those points. So on top of the cylinder, we don't have any points and no particles are growing there. But you can see we don't have particles here at the center. Only particles are there on top and bottom. So we need to add more vertex points along the cylinder so that we can see particles growing from the entire surface. So simply go edit mode, press tab, switch to wireframe mode on the top. Click here. Now select entire mesh, press A or you can simply click and drag, select everything. Now please pay attention. Now we need to subdivide across the cylinder so that we have more vertex point for that press ctrl r right without clicking anywhere simply move your scroll wheel up for increasing subdivisions down for decreasing subdivisions so if you increase subdivisions like this so you have enough vertex points added simply press your mouse now and press again that's all. Now we have subdivided. Don't add too much of subdivisions. We only need this much. So now go back to object mode, press tab. Now you can see particles are growing from these faces as well. We need more length. So scale along Z axis, press S followed by Z on keyboard so that we can scale it like this. Now that looks good. Now we need to make a nano sheet. Press shift a mesh plane, go to solid preview mode. Assume that this is our nano sheet. We need to move the origin of this sheet to one side so that we can distribute this sheet on the surface nicely. So instead of a plane, you can also have, you know, hexagonal flakes in that case, shift a mesh cylinder. Now expand this window here, type six. Now you can see our cylinder has six vertex points which means that it is a hexagonal column scale along z axis press s and z and move the mouse scale it down see now it has some thickness as well to add some thickness for this plane go to modifier settings you can add soldify modifier and increase the thickness that's all now i will show you for both and if you don't want you know uniform flakes you have random flakes in that case add a plane shift a mesh plane have a look how your nano sheet is appearing according to that we need to model the nano sheet then replace all these hair particles okay simple and go to edit mode press tab and move this to one side and make sure that this tiny yellow dot is now at one side not at the center or inside the object now that looks good so now if you distribute these flakes on the surface it will come like this just touching on the surface because we have moved the origin here if the origin was at the center it will go like this see so that's why we did like that similarly here this is the origin go to edit mode press tab and move it to one side and i will simply rotate it along z axis r z and keep it like this now that looks good. Now select the cylinder, go to particle settings, scroll down under render, change render as to object from path. So now we are 
replacing all those lines with our object now go to instance object use this eyedropper tool and select our flake here now go back to object mode press tab okay now you can increase the scale here to make those flakes visible and activate object rotation it is important now you can see now activate advanced let's rotate them randomly so that it doesn't you know look like they are uniformly distributed let's add a material for this plane go to materials click on new change base color to a nice color and so i'll select the cylinder and i will add a different color for that okay now select the cylinder again go to particle settings activate rotation and change orientation to normal now increase randomness see and reduce the scale now you have what you are looking for you can increase number of particles by increasing number here if this is how you want it to be you are good to go so now i can increase number of particles to fill in the gap so for now i'll simply reduce the height a little bit like this and yeah so you can increase the scale of these particles according to your need if i increase it further see this is how it will look like now your top face is not visible in that case what you can do select this cylinder go to particle edit here and choose this cut option and you can delete these particles at the top like this see you can do so for the bottom face as well like this now go back to object mode and reduce the scale a little bit see this is how it will look like so basically we deleted few particles here if you have more particles coming you can do so again by going to particle edit delete more particles here go to wireframe mode so that you can see top part you can delete few particles like this okay go back to object mode yeah that looks good see now we can showcase how it looks like that looks good and add a light shift a light area and move this light somewhere here increase the scale press s go to light properties increase the power go to render preview mode now that looks good add a camera shift a camera go to camera view here and lock the camera now zoom out using scroll wheel use this hand icon and zoom in using scroll wheel now adjust the position so nicely i'll select this particle and i will rotate see so as per your need you can showcase it however you want and go to render properties under film activate transparent so that we can remove the transparency so in this case i will select this light and i will duplicate shift d r x so that we have more light from this direction as well and go to camera view that looks good for this light i will move it slightly away so that we have difference in intensity of the light at the top and bottom so this is how you do it so you can adjust the camera view to show it in different angles try rendering it in cycles by going to render properties so that's how you create core shell nano road where the surface is covered with nano sheets so to add more on that assume that your surface particles are looking different so simply create a new one and select this particle system so i'll select this hexagonal thing and i will add a new material to that select this nano particle go to material properties in this case change instance object from plane to whichever one you have so in this case you can see it is different yeah so if you have any questions let me know see you in the next tutorial